Hello dear Sky Enthusiasts! Today we are going on a journey through time with you. But this journey does not only extend to the boundaries of the Earth, it extends billions of years back to the icy comets and the depths of the universe. Now think about it. How did water, an essential for life on Earth, get here? While we need water at every moment of our lives, have you ever questioned the origin of this miraculous liquid? Some scientists think that the origin of Earth's water may be comets. Yes, these icy objects that came from deep space may have brought life to our planet. But is this theory really true? Can we say that the water carried by comets is exactly the same as the water on Earth? Or do we need to learn more about this? Today, we will search for the answers to these questions together. First of all, we need to ask ourselves a fundamental question. Has the Earth's water always been here? Surprisingly, the answer is no. When our planet first began to form about 4.5 billion years ago, it was a fiery, molten sphere of rock. In its early days, Earth was so hot that any water would have evaporated instantly. Oceans, rivers and lakes as we know them today didn't exist. So, if Earth didn't have water in its formative stages, the mystery deepens. Where did all this water come from? For many years, the prevailing theory among scientists was that water was delivered to Earth by celestial messengers, comets and asteroids. These icy wanderers, traveling from the far reaches of the solar system, seemed like perfect candidates. After all, comets are essentially cosmic snowballs made of ice, dust and organic compounds. Their icy nature made them ideal carriers of water. As these comets collided with the early Earth, they could have deposited their water, slowly building up the vast oceans we see today. This idea gained significant traction when scientists began examining the molecular composition of water in comets. By studying the hydrogen isotopes within the water, researchers could compare comet water to Earth's water. The isotopic ratio of deuterium to hydrogen D-H ratio became a critical piece of evidence. For a time, some comets showed D-H ratios similar to Earth's water, bolstering the theory that comets were indeed the source. But then, in 2014, the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission threw a curveball that shook this long-standing belief. Rosetta, a spacecraft launched to study the Comet 67P, churyumov gerasimenko was equipped to analyze the comet's water in detail. What it found was unexpected. The water on 67P had a deuterium to hydrogen ratio that was three times higher than the water found on Earth. This was a shocking revelation. If the D-H ratio in comet water didn't match Earth's, how could comets be the primary source of our water? This discovery forced scientists to reconsider the role of comets in delivering water to Earth. It suggested that perhaps comets weren't as significant in shaping Earth's water story as we The mismatch in the isotopic signatures indicated that other sources, such as asteroids, might have played a more significant role. Unlike comets, many asteroids contain water trapped in their minerals. These wet asteroids have a D-H ratio closer to Earth's water, making them more plausible contributors. The findings from Rosetta didn't just challenge old assumptions, they opened up new questions. What other cosmic events or processes might have contributed to Earth's water? Could the story involve a combination of comets, asteroids, and even chemical reactions on Earth itself? And what does this mean for our understanding of water in the wider universe? The answers to these questions are still unfolding. What's clear, though, is that water's journey to Earth is more complex and mysterious than we ever imagined. Each discovery, like Rosetta's findings, adds a new layer to this incredible story, reminding us that the universe is full of surprises waiting to be uncovered. So what is deuterium and why is it so important? Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen. Simply put, the amount of deuterium in water molecules gives a clue to where and how that water was formed. The colder the place in the solar system where water formed, the higher the amount of deuterium it usually is. The deuterium ratio of the water in Comet 6-7P was very different from that of Earth's water. However, this difference led scientists to a new hypothesis. 
Could dust on the comet's surface be causing an error in these measurements? Kathleen Mount and her team from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center set out to find the answer to this question. Mount and his team's research has shown that gas and dust on the surface of comets can affect deuterium measurements. As comets approach the Sun, they heat up and release gas and dust from their surfaces. These dust particles may carry water molecules with a higher deuterium content, making the comet water appear different than it actually is. So, the high deuterium content seen in the analysis of Comet 67P could actually be a byproduct of dust particles breaking off the surface. This discovery revives the theory that comets may have carried water to Earth. If comets did indeed carry water to Earth, could it also have carried the building blocks of life? Comet ice contains not only water, but also organic molecules. These molecules may have initiated the chemical reactions necessary for life to begin. Studies on this subject suggest that comets may have brought to Earth not only water, but also elements important for life, such as carbon-based compounds. In other words, these icy bodies may have seeded not only the oceans, but perhaps life itself. Comets are like ancient time capsules, traveling through the cosmos and carrying with them secrets from the birth of our solar system. These icy wanderers, forged in the depths of space billions of years ago, whisper to us through their trails of gas and dust, hinting at the origins of planets, water, and perhaps even life itself. While the debate over whether comets delivered water to Earth continues to intrigue scientists, every new discovery inches us closer to unraveling this cosmic mystery. The question remains, are comets the celestial couriers of Earth's water? Or is there a hidden chapter in this story that is yet to be uncovered? What if the origins of our planet's most vital resource lie not in the stars, but in a yet undiscovered process, or even in a combination of cosmic events? The journey to these answers is as fascinating as the mysteries themselves, and the universe holds infinite possibilities for what we might uncover next. Each new comet observed, each sample analyzed, and every new mission launched brings us one step closer to understanding the grand puzzle of existence. However, much remains unknown. Could the water found on some comets with its unique chemical signature reveal an alternative origin story? Or are we missing a vital piece of evidence that will change our understanding entirely? Only time, research and continued exploration will tell. If topics like these ignite your curiosity, don't miss the chance to join us on this journey. Subscribe to our channel and hit the like button to ensure you stay connected with the mysteries of the universe. In the next video, we'll dive into traces of water on Mars, the possibility of ancient Martian seas, or even the tantalizing question of life on other planets. Until then, let's keep exploring the endless secrets of the universe together. Remember, Every question answered opens the door to countless more waiting to be discovered. Stay curious, stay inspired and let the stars guide you to the truth.